What's up everyone, it's Wacko, welcoming you back for SDS Season 5. We are now in week 1 of playoffs. Uh, I'm not joined by anyone currently, however, uh, Ryan will probably join like mid-video. I just wanted to get this uh, started because I'm not sure how long it's going to be. And I wanted to record this now because I had some stuff planned out a little bit later today, so... And actually, it's only Wednesday, which is like the day after recording the week 9 video, so... Honestly, good job to everyone for getting round 1 done, like, so fucking early. Um, so anyway, starting things off, we have... Um, actually, should I... I guess I'll do this in order of when they're played, or at least in the order that I clicked on the replays. We have Joey versus Rage with the Mega Lock Honey, Arctazolt, uh, Gligar, Slowking, Comfy, and Cerulege versus the Dunsparce, Zeraora, Tinglu, Moltres, Overquill, and Starmie. Um, actually, hold on a second. I'm gonna share my screen in SDS so that if Ryan or someone joins call, they can see what I'm doing. Okay. Um, anyways, looking at the matchup, though, um, I see that Arctizol doesn't really like cooking Boltbeak that much because Tinglu and... Zeraora can kind of wall it, and then honestly, even like it doesn't really want to risk the flame body burn on like Moltres if he feels like sacking Moltres. And if he does need to sack Moltres for some reason on the Zolt, uh, as it is probably his best check, honestly. Well, it, is, it isn't even really a good check. Honestly, his best check is, like, whatever Terra to Dunsparce is. Um, he kind of loses to uh, Comfy because uh, there's not really a Draining Kiss switch in. Uh, it just kind of depends on whatever the Dunsparce Terra is, like, if it's Electric or Poison. Um, I, I mean, I do know what the Dunsparce Terra is. It's just uh, going off of matchup, like, what it looks like to like the pers the people you guys watching i don't know i don't know how to word it and then on rage's side i don't know i feel like starmie could be kind of concerning for joey uh because like he could possibly he could trick slow king um and then if slow king is tricked then i guess starmie can kind of sit in and click buttons. Uh, it can natural cure out, or even, like, analytic low-key. If it wants to force in slow king, because it gets Thunderbolt. Honestly, if you're, like, choice specs Thunderbolt, and you can get rid of Gligar, or even, like, Life Orb. Oh, Life Orb looks so good here, actually. The only thing is that if he goes into Cerulege, you have to switch out on the Shadow Sneak. That could be interesting. So we're going to start off Lapony versus Starmie. We're gonna see Lapony Mega Evolve. He's just gonna fake out, get the critical hit. Very unfortunate for Starmie, however, Starmie's gonna flinch. There's no covert cloak on for it. Uh, Psychic is gonna do kind of a lot to Slow King. I think that kind of shows that it's Fizz Def. Overcool is gonna come in on the Chili Reception. And then Zolt comes in. And as I said before, there's not really the best Zolt check. Um. I guess I should have said specifically before, uh, because Moltres is part flying, there's not, and there's also no Tinkaton in this battle, there's absolutely zero ice switching on this team, so Zolt is absolutely free to like click ice moves, however he's sub Zolt, which I think is a very good bring by the way. Um, He's gonna click Bolt Beak for some reason. I don't know why he clicked Bolt Beak and not like an ice move. He's gonna click Blizzard. Not gonna do too much. However, he's gonna get the freeze into the the uh, thaw. Rage got 
pretty lucky on thawing there. I'm gonna Scald. I think Overcool is Covert Cloak. Um, we're gonna Crunch Gligar, because Gligar's not gonna give a shit. Chris, or Slowking's gonna just come in on the Ice Beam. And then he's gonna Chill Reception. I, feel, I think Slowking is Culberberry. But uh, Arctozel's gonna come in, it's gonna get some nice leftovers, Stomping Tantrum, the Overquill. Crunch is gonna do kind of a lot, and then he's gonna Blizzard the Overquill. And now he's in a good enough position where uh, he's just gonna stay in with Arctozel and get some chip on whatever. I think he actually wants his ult to die. So he's going to let Ting Lu, I think, kill it. Yes, yeah, Snow's actually going to run out, and I think he's going to let Ting Lu kill his ult. No, he's going to go hard Cerulege. Yeah, this was his play. He wants Cerulege. He wants to let Cerulege die. Which, I mean, he could have also, I think, went Gligar and, like, U turned out. But, um, I respect sacking Cerulege, I guess. Now he's going to go Comfy, and then he's going to taunt the Moltres on the Toxic. And now Moltres can't do anything, unless he was physical Moltres, which uh, you don't really typically see. I mean, a physical Moltres would have been a, a good bring versus, I think, Slow King and Comfy. But um, versus Gligar, I don't know. But he's going to Draining Kiss. Honestly, probably... Oh, no, he didn't want to call mine because he wanted a Whirlwind. So basically, he uses ult well to bait Tinglu enough to weaken it to the point where he could just drain and kiss and kill it before it whirlwinds it out. And he's going to stored power the done sparse. Terror poison was, I think, for Lopunny. So, like, Joey just kind of had the matchup where, like, he could bait a lot of things from Rage so that, like, his Comfy was just kind of set up to win. And I believe he was Terra Fire or Steel so that Tinkaton couldn't just kind of kill it with like Gigaton Hammer if he were to bring Tinkaton. Which I think is fair. And it, like Tinkaton isn't like super free versus this team. But uh, Comfy is just kind of gonna auto win. He's gonna go into Moltres, he's gonna get taunted. Unfortunately, Moltres really can't do anything like hurricane yeah you can get confused sure i don't think comfy like comfy doesn't really have high attack stats so even if it hurts itself in confusion doesn't really matter uh i think he's going to uh yeah he's gonna draining kiss um then gonna taunt moltres hurt himself in confusion again i don't know how the fuck this comfy is so confused too and then Starmie's gonna come in, he's just gonna Draining Kiss. Unfortunately, I feel like the Starmie... If the Starmie was, like, Trick and then also didn't get Crit turn 1 by Fake Out, I feel like it could have lived plus 3 Draining Kiss. I might be underestimating... I might be underestimating or overestimating Starmie bulk. Or underestimating Comfy's power. But, uh... I... I feel like without fake out critic maybe could have lived but uh stored power is just gonna clean up the game unfortunately even if he did trick i f at that point there wasn't really anything he could do to stop chili reception into bolt beak anyways like arctazolt was healthy enough i guess that's why you don't sack arctazolt you always sack surge because arctazolt once Tinglu and Zera are dead, can beat Moltres. Which is like the only Pokemon that Comfy can't beat if Starmie had like Trick, I suppose. Um, so that was a good set by Joey. And Rage, like, like he had some Mons that could theoretically beat Comfy, but like not a taunt Comfy, unfortunately. So, yeah, it was just kind of, I think, a sad, unfortunate game for Rage. Uh, both players, I think, had a really good run, though. And uh, hope to see both next season. I think both have applied. Applications are out, so... 
if you're watching this video, apply or else. Moving on. Actually, um, hopefully I can maybe remind myself to put applications and a Discord invite in my uh, in the description or something. I'm probably not gonna remember because uh, I'm lazy as fuck. So our next matchup is Voids versus You Know. I don't actually think I watched this matchup. So we got the Thunderous Incarnate, Haxorus, Hoopa Unbound, Cloud Sire, Taurus. Palia Aqua, and Corviknight versus Charizard, Keldeo, Glamora, what is that thing, Necrozma, Orthworm, and Landorus. I'm gonna play, oh actually, let me, is someone here? Hello? No. Um... Oh, hi, Rage. You can, like, talk if you want. Sounds like your net is, like, shit. But, um, anyway. Looking at the matchup. Um, this looks like Hoopa unbounds Yuno's asshole. Um, yeah, I would say that, yeah. I would also say... Haxorus looks decent, but you have to kind of get rid of Lando. However, you, I think Aqua Tail's pretty slappable. Actually, no, Haxorus doesn't really look that great because of Orthworm. Mm. And Clodsire can't touch Orthworm either. So Orthworm looks kind of scary, low-key, if, like, you forget about Earth Eater. So, yeah, we're just going to see the lead Hoopa on the Glamora. We're going to just see Psy Shock. Is this, like, choice specs? I don't know. Is, are these, you know... <laughs> I guess... It's not like I'm monetized or anything, so it doesn't matter. Well, you can't shut tail. Thunders is just gonna come in. He's gonna knock off the lefties. And now, you know, has every hazard up. I guess Corv is just gonna come in. Oh, Corv is fucking invisible. So we're going to change sides. And we are toxic debris. I guess that makes sense. Or not toxic debris, it's corrosion. That's a good bring for Corp though. Bulk up Thundee. Hmm. I feel like you could have kept bulking up on the Orthworm low key. I'm not sure what Orthorm was supposed to do, unless it gets like Dragon Tail, I don't know. So you go Tauros on the Charizard. Terra Dragon. Love to see that. That did nothing, what? Oh, it's just like a bulky Charizard, okay. Outrage does kind of lot to Glamora. The Glamora goes down, Tauros is gonna get confused. I think Keldeo is just going to... Oh, but he can switch out. Keldeo really can't touch Claude, can it? And Rage is gone. I don't know what happened. And for some reason, did this like not have recover? I'm confused. He's gonna go Hoopa, Charizard's gonna die, Psy Shock. Necrozma's gonna come in, Corv. DD Necro, okay. Oh, on the Iron Defense Corv. Weakness policy? 
Oh. Aw, oh, man. Is he gonna miss? Why is he Dragon Dance Heat Wave? Wait, am I, am I stupid? I might be stupid. Do you have Aqua Jet? Okay. I was gonna say, I'm pretty sure there's no way Voids could really lose to that. Surf is gonna kill. Actually, that Necro is not a bad side. Why aren't you, like, Calm Mind, though? Oh, fo I mean, Photon Geyser works with DD, though. I forget about that. It's been a while since I've used Necro. Surf does kind of a lot to Hoopa, Psyshock kills, and then Lando comes in. I think, is Hoopa Scarf? Yeah. I smack women. Okay, you know. Smackdown? <laughs> but, what? Okay. I mean, sure. The Thunder's put in kind of a lot of work with the... It didn't even... It, like, most of the moves it clicked were after... Or, like, before it clicked bulk up. Um, Scarf Hoopa... I, was it... Yeah, it, was, it had to have been Scarf. Or was it just Slow Lando? I don't fucking know. I don't know Calcs. I feel like Hoopa should have O-Code everything if it was spec slow. Like, that Orthworm took a little... Too little nothing... Um, yeah, GG's to you know and Voids. Voids is playing super well this season, holy shit. Um, like, the, I think people are just struggling to face, like, the stall team. Or, like, the stall core into, like, the, like, the offensive pressure from, like, these things. And even, like, just having to prep for Bulu at times is a little bit annoying. And Voids isn't even using, like, all his Pokemon. They're, like, they have not once used Galvantula. Which is, like, not even a bad mom. Like, it's not, like, a low-tier piece of shit that no one preps for. It's, like, still a mid-tier mom. And, like, this team is still, like, super threatening. So, good job, honestly. For the upset. Steven versus Odie. So we got Skarmory, Greninja, Infernape, Swampert, Mega Audino, and Terra Oracorio versus Mega Sceptile, Alone Ninetales, Iron Hands, High Dragon, Azu, and River Room. Uh, so let's see, is High Dragon and River Room finally gonna do something? Let's hope so. So we're gonna see the lead Infernape versus Azu. The U turn's gonna come out, Skarmory's gonna come in. Copycat. <laughs> Why did I do nothing? Wait, is he Sap Sipper? Is he Sap Sipper for fucking Rillaboom? Maybe. Why? I guess. Wait. Is he Sand Sand Tomb on the weakness pop? Wow. Overheat. That did nothing. Wait, that did nothing. Od, what? Well, there goes, there goes the with... fucking weakness policy. Toxic Skarmory. Toxic Sandtomb Skarmory. Hello, Ryan. Hello. I don't know what Odie was cooking with that, uh... I don't know why, I don't know why he switched out. I would've just, like, stayed in and got damaged. Probably. I don't know. I don't know what's going I mean, on. The overheat for Scarm was probably pretty good, but like, I don't think he could touch Swamper. No. Oh, he's Rest Talk Azu. Or just Rest, I don't fucking know. This is pretty funny, yeah. Oh, no, he's just Rest <laughs> Copycat. Copycat's insane. I can't believe Odie didn't bring Tickle. Perish next turn. Is he gonna switch? Wait, why did he stay in? He's sand tombed. He's sand tombed. Oh. <laughs> Wait. Switch wrap. <laughs> Wait. Wait, he was a world. 
Oh. They like, they trapped each other. <laughs> Funny. Well, there goes Rev Room. Nine that kills. Some damage to an Audino. Huh? Almost forty percent to Audino. That's like, that's some. Damage. I mean, I'm pretty sure my Thunderous did like fifty percent with just T Bolt that's true. from Scarf. That. It's probably just like defensive Audino. Mm -hmm. Uh oh. That thing lived. Brody chokes. <coughs> Burn. Oh. Crit. <laughs> Look where he chokes. Odi, no. Charge? Why? It clicks charge. Why did- Because it boosts- it boosts his wild oh. charge, but he doesn't kill. Why didn't he just run heavy slam? <laughs> That's true. But if you <laughs> click wild charge into close combat, I think he killed. And he lived. I feel like Heavy Slam just like killed it. That too. <laughs> he also didn't kill the Audino while he had a chance, and I think that was kinda bad. Yeah. Uh Hydreigon took nothing from D Gleam. I don't think I've ever seen a fairy type put Hydreigon in or keep Hydreigon in the green with the fairy move. Like, I know Veil is up in mirror stuff, but, like, still... Mirror Herb for, like, Quiver Dance. Probably. Or Oreo. Kinda cool. I think I told him to run that at some point. I don't know if it was for this matchup. People think that... Or, Steven told Odie that I told him to run Sand Tomb, which is untrue. <laughs> or if I did, it was, like, in call, and I don't remember. Nine Tails comes out on the quiver. And I think Oracle just wins from there. Subtile. I do quiver dance again. Cheap bastard. <laughs> oh he did run air slash. That was that was the move that I told him to run. I told him to run Rillaboom actually, instead of like something else. But, eh. I think it, it was like, uh, I wanted Steven to run like a Trailblaze Royal Boom set. Mm. That'd be kind of fire. Yeah, like you could, uh, High Horsepower, Drain Punch, Wood Hammer shit. I don't know. Could do something. And then we have our game. Ooh, join just in time. Yep. So we have our uh, Kukwavel, Porygon Z, Terra Gudra, Weezing, Meow Scrata, Pal Sand versus My Thunder's Therian, Reuniclus, Incineroar, Mega Beedrill, Terra Diancy, and Jellicent. Um, I think I made Jellicent. I thought I made Jellicent male on purpose for. Tornadus for some, uh, but I guess it didn't work, or it didn't save. Oh well. Um. So looking at this matchup, I don't have a switch into PZ, really, or well, so well, sort of. Like I have a I mean, Diancy. You've got two tri attack switch ins that are pretty good. It. Eh, yeah, it's just a little bit tough. If you would predict me a little bit with uh, with Shadow yeah. Ball, if you were running it, which maybe you Come weren't on. because of Coma O, but True. because of Thunderbolt, I could see you not running for because of Thundy. But then on yeah, my was, side, you, you struggle versus Runiclus. Yeah, I was maybe going to be Ice Beam, but uh, I decided Shadow Ball. Yeah, you need something for Jellicent. Yeah, I guess I'll go through like my thought process really quickly. The goal for me was 
win with Quick Bobble. So I wanted Spikes up with Miascarada, Rocks up with Palisand, and hopefully chip Diancy and Jellison into range of like a boosted Quick Bobble. Um, I was Sash Miascarada to guarantee a spike up turn one. I was a little worried about like Pit Missile Beedrill, so. Uh, oh, that was my thought. Uh, I mean, I lead. probably would have, I would have clicked Twin Needle, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that that was my thought process for my, how I built my team. Mm, and uh, you were, well, we'll go into your Terra later, but uh, yeah. for me it was uh, lead Incineroar. Well, I'll play and then I'll pause turn one. But um, <laughs> our nickname's Smash. <laughs> Smash. They're both female too. <laughs> <laughs> did you did you make your meow at female on purpose? No. Oh, <laughs> uh, I don't. I didn't make my Incineroar female either. The game just knows. Yep. But um, my idea was just lead Incineroar and then uh, like pre click knock off. And then uh, I was lead me out, get a spike up. I didn't really care if this got burned too much because that means I could get the spike up for free. Um, yeah. Yeah, it was like do that, and then if you went wheezing, I could. Uh, um, well, we'll let it play out. But you get up a spike, like you said. And I knock off. Unfortunately, I get a low roll, and actually, I'll tell you why it matters in a second. But, um, you go into Weezing, and I click Knock Off, which, that did a lot more than I thought it would. And then I overheat. It would've been funny if I was a Jack Pack, but, uh, I did respect Hazards for once. Reuniclus comes in, I am Magic Guard, and I was like, wait, why did I take damage? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we were in Call for this battle, too. So actually, the reason why the knockoff rule mattered on Meow was because I wanted to click Shadow Ball to kill Meow. And it was like, if I got a slightly higher roll, I could have just clicked Shadow Ball to kill it. Did you count with 80 HP? Oh, you had 80 HP. Yeah. Um, I, think, I think with 80 HP... With like a still a higher roll with knockoff, I s still could have went for Shadow Ball, but I, I don't know. It depends. Maybe I did get a higher roll then with Incineroar. Focus Blast lands. I actually wanted to go Signal Beam and Grass Knot, but Shadow Ball was safer. And then you Sucker Punch. I figured you'd probably have Sucker Punch, but in case you were knockoff, I was in a good spot. And then I went Beedrill on accident. Which I think <laughs> lost me the game. I U-turn instead of knock off as well. Because I think if I knocked off, then... Uh... Some of the... Did you kill knock off so, with, as it was dark type? Probably, yeah. Uh, so, no, I didn't. Well, no, I didn't no kill. item meow. No, you wouldn't have killed. No, I didn't kill. I just had to hope you switched out. Yeah. I just had to... Like, I had... Like, when you... When I saw the Palisand on my screen, and there's like no Arcanine, I had a feeling that your helmet Palisand for mm -hmm. Drill. And then once I knock off, like knock off is weaker, so I just assume like Palisand is like your Drill check, kind of. Yep. So I go Jellicent. And then, <laughs> didn't you say that you thought I would trick him again? Yeah, I thought, I seen it, when you said, did it with Reuniclus, I was like, dang, is he like multiple Trick Room setters? <laughs> I was like, Trick Room for what? For your, your Palisand? <laughs> <laughs> no, I just clicked Toxic, and then unfortunately I missed Toxic again. Um, well, I missed Toxic on the Meow, unfortunately. Yeah. But it doesn't matter, because uh, I just Sludge Bomb on your Play Rough. Which, uh, I don't know why I even clicked Sludge Bomb. I was yeah, gonna go for Hex if I landed. <clears throat> I wish I clicked spikes again there, but wasn't too big of a deal. Yeah. Now this play here... Lumberry, let's go. This, that was kind of my thought process. I can... Mm -hmm. That I was really, a really good Do you want to pause really quick? Yeah. 
so uh, my original thought process was like I would bring it in against like Incineroar or something. So you'd have to switch out out SD once as you can bring in Jellison. You're either going to click Strength Sap or Willow. So I SD again. So I'm at plus four, or plus 3.5. Um, and then Acro might kill at plus four if you have like one spike up. Mm hmm. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah this was a really was good really brain. Kinda... I actually, I think I faced a really similar Blastoise set uh, with like a really similar set of mine. I think I was like Mega Slowbro. I put Toxic on the Blastoise and then he was a Lumberry and then he killed me and then uh i think the only reason why i beat the blastoise was because he thought i was scarf double edge with obstagoon or something and like it was kind of unintentional but um if he had gone for the the shell smash again he would have beat me but unfortunately uh your jet which i don't know why i didn't see the jet coming i just kind of sacked the beedrill and let you it's get very fair to think I would be SD Aqua Step, so because if I was Aqua Step, then you don't want to go into Diancie here because it has to take an Aqua Step. Yeah, I, I I think if you were Aqua Step and not Jet, I lost, and I think I needed to scout with Beedrill first before Thundee because if you were at plus one, yeah, for sure. if you're at plus one speed, I could still revenge kill with, with Thundee, and uh, yeah. Beedrill didn't actually kill you, but. Toxic could have, I think, killed you after Jab. So I think Beedrill is still like my saver play. If you weren't. And then I just had to hope that you close combat on Terra Ghost. If I could bait you into thinking I was water. Yeah. And then the critical hit actually. Well, actually, the crit didn't matter because you died to Toxic, but that. the crit killed you. So Diancie got the kill rather than Quack, or rather than Jelly. And then, uh... Oh, that means I put the, the kills in my dock wrong, because I think Di I put it that Diancie only got one, when I think it gets two here, doesn't it? Uh, or no, does, lives. does Palisand die to Toxic here? No, it doesn't. No, it does it. It's two percent. Yeah. Yeah. But this is a really close game. Yep. Bulldoze was good. Good. There. I think. I think, to... I think actually my play here should have been uh, bulldoze with Incineroar. So like you earthquake. I think I should have bulldoze. But I don't think bulldoze. I don't think it killed. I thought you would have parting shot it or went like hard. No, it just didn't matter because like because you're sash PZ anyways. Yeah. Gets the one flinch. Yeah, I did get the flinch. If I but flinched twice, I won. Or if you got the low roll, I won. Yeah. That was yeah. It was that was my only out for you to get the low roll after I flinch. But it was it was really close. I think your low roll was like the same roll as my flinch low key. Wasn't it like thirty six percent chance to kill me there? Something like that, yeah. Yeah, that was insane. But like a really close battle. I'm not mad to lose that at all. No, it was a really good game. Mm -hmm. I think it was a really good the ducks, quabble set. The ducks came out on top. Really good quabble set. I think it was a really good. Reuniclus. Yeah, that reunion was huge. It put me down in a tough spot early. But... Mm -hmm. I originally was going to be uh, Calm Mind Acid Armor Stored Power. I just wasn't mm -hmm. sure how long Meow would stick around. I guess I probably could have just been like Hazard Stack Diancy and then just like kept pivoting around with Diancy, Bait and Meow Scrata, and then just like switch out. Mm -hmm. I guess that could have been my play. I don't know. Because I lead in Sinora versus Meow. I just dropped my gum. I <laughs> just put out my gum on the computer. Oops. Um, but yeah, good playoffs all around.
I think every game was kind of an upset. Because uh, all the seeds that won were odd-numbered seeds. I think uh, 6... 6, 4... 2, two 4, 6, and 8. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah in, well, in the order that I looked at them, I think Joey was 6, Voids was 4, Steven was 2, and then you were 8. So that's kind of funny. That's probably like the weirdest playoffs I've seen so far. I didn't think I'd see that happening either. But uh, I'm not mad about it at all. It's interesting. Mm -hmm. What was the heat of the week? Honestly, this comfy. Yeah, it's not that heat, but it was it's not work. super heat. But like, like hot of the week. But like, I, don't know. I think maybe taunt on it. I mean, the, uh, I love that Voids keeps using this dragon Tauros. Tauros. Dragon Tauros, yeah. <laughs> every good. week it's a dragon. <laughs> or it feels like every week it's a dragon type. Mm -hmm. It works too. Just click Outrage, fuck it. And then he didn't even Trasalize the Oracorio, I noticed. <laughs> Yeah. And then the, the Terra ground Gujra was cool. I didn't think about ground walling superior either. Because I thought you'd just yeah, be very just better for Thundi, yeah. I'm surprised you just didn't see me bluffing Como coming at all because I haven't really used it all season. Yeah, the double it sash. <laughs> double sash is good enough. To be fair, I think what my only hazard setter is Diancy. I think I thought about T spikes on Beedrill like once, but I was kind of I was more committed to leading Incineroar than leading with Hazards, Diancy, or Beedrill than anything. Makes sense. Which is probably like a losing play, but I don't really give a shit. But yeah, GG's, well played, everybody. Uh, I don't know when this video will be up, but see you later. Yeah.